Hello, my beautiful, adorable, delightful creations of God. I am very happy to greet each of you. Today is the second day of your preparation for the important webinar that will help you accept yourself, love yourself, and therefore love the whole universe. My dear, I want to tell you that I have prepared a special practice for you today. We will do it a little later at the end of the video. And now, I want to tell you that each person has a special, colorful palette in life. Last time, we discussed that sometimes we don't use our palette, or we only use black or dark brown colors, completely forgetting about all the colors that God fills our life with. I'm going to carry out a special experiment right now. I hope you join me and support me in it. Imagine there are two basic energies in this world, male energy and female energy. Male energy is bright red, stormy, fiery, and impetuous. And female energy is soft. Its color is dark blue and blue, and it usually represents creativity. Let's do an experiment right now. With the help of this experiment, we will find out what happens when two pure, divine energies come together. Okay, pay attention. I'm going to take the blue paint. I add a few drops of this beautiful blue paint right into the magical vessel. This is the energy of the universe. This is the energy of female power. There is much more feminine energy in the whole universe because it is the feminine energy that created this world. And now I take a few drops of red male energy, the energy of activity, restlessness, and I add it to the blue female energy. Look, there is real magic happening here. It starts turning purple. The color is a symbol of the depth of the cosmos, a symbol of communication with the higher forces, a symbol, as the yogis say, of the Saharasra Chakra, the upper center of communication with the higher purpose, with the higher energy. My dear, look at the beauty we have created. We did a simple experiment with paints and what happens when God mixes his paints, when God combines male and female energies. I want to say that these energies must be crystal clear. If there are admixtures of other colors in these colors, or black inclusions, negative influences, then you and I will not get such an amazing cosmic color. There is such depth in every woman. Have you ever looked into a woman's eyes? Those who have ever participated in practices at our seminar where we look into the mirror of the soul, into the eyes. You know what I mean. I know that many of you were delighted by what you saw. Usually, we see a person's ordinary look, but when we look into the eyes, we see the infinite cosmos. My dear, for us it is not enough just to see it. It is very important for us to discover this cosmos. After all, each of us has her predestination, has her feminine power, Unfortunately, in the course of life, we bury it deeper and deeper. We fall under the influence, the negative energy destroys us, and by the end of life, we get not purple color, but the black one. We get a black glass of misery and misfortune. But you and I are not going to live like that, are we? If you have ever found yourself in my field, if you have ever come under my scrutiny, it means that you will be totally happy. Do you want to be totally happy? Do you want to start out your day smiling and feeling good? 
Do you want to come home after work and feel a rush of energy, power, and love for your loved ones? Then you have to know that you and I are on the same journey. And today we begin the second stage of preparation for the webinar of Total Self-Acceptance. This is a special meditation, an immersion in the feminine power, in the depth with which God has endowed us. Do you know that this color connects all the colors within? Then, my dear, let's get to know ourselves. Right now, take a deep breath. Exhale. Close your eyes. Your eyes are closed. You breathe deeply and quietly. Now imagine yourself on the shore of a water reservoir. It may be a small stream, a swift sparkling one. It may be a pond, the surface of which is overgrown with wild plants. It may be a bubbling river, or it may be a huge ocean, stormy, or conversely, gentle and calm. Behold your source of water. Look what color water is, clear, dark, aggressive or calm, glowing, bubbling. What is this water like? It's not just water. This is the source of your feminine power. This is the current state, your feminine power, the way it is this very moment. Look with the eyes of the mistress of the world at this water. What would you like to improve about this water reservoir? Perhaps you would like to clean it of twigs, debris, clogs, or maybe even dirty garbage bags? What would you like to do? Start cleaning that space. After all, it is an endless ocean of your feminine power. Is there anything that should not be there? What's missing? Add something you feel should be there. If it's a beautiful pond, you may plant amazing water lilies there. See your mirrored reflection in the clear water. If it's a stream, make it so strong and powerful that it grows into a real bubbling river that rushes over beautiful pebbles and sand. If it is the ocean, imagine its water is so transparent that you can see shells and pearls at the very bottom. These are your talents and abilities. Put something you feel is needed here into this space of power. And if you like this space, if you feel that this is where you want to plunge into the infinite source of your feminine power, feel yourself taking off all your clothes, a symbol of the old things that were in your life, things that were holding you back, squeezing, hindering you. You take off your old clothes. You are naked before God. You should not be ashamed of your body at all. You accept the vessel of your soul the way it is. You can feel the coolness of the water with your foot and start stepping into this refreshing water, this source of your feminine power. You go knee deep, hip deep, chest deep, and begin to swim in this endless source of your feminine power. You dive like a fish, 
to the very bottom. You jump out of the water. You frolic. You feel free and light. That's your feminine power. That's your talents. You dive for beautiful flowers. You dive for precious pearls. All these are the talents of your feminine soul, which must be carefully purified, carried, and presented to this world. You lift up your face with delight, exposing it to the sun's rays. You enjoy this energy. You enjoy the warm breeze. You feel your source of feminine power, which you have yet to explore, yet to get filled with this power. You are to draw your energy from here. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. You come out of the water. You feel a light weightlessness from bathing in this purest source of your power. You walk, open your arms to the sides, and put your body like a star to the sun, to the air, to the earth. You are filled with the power of the elements. You take a deep breath. As you exhale, you bring your palms together against your chest. Then, Open your palms to see there is a special shell of feminine power connecting you with the source of your youth, beauty, and talents. You place this shell to the area of your womb. Take three deep breaths. You exhale, absorbing the power of the magic shell, the power of the feminine magic is within you. Take a deep breath, breathing in the power of the seashell, the power of the magical music you hear, the music of transformation. You have absorbed this power. And with an exhale, open your eyes. Look at this world with the eyes of a happy woman. My beloved ladies, I congratulate you for taking the plunge and feeling the source of your feminine power. I know, my dear, that there was a lot of unnecessary things in your reservoirs. That's for sure. Please write down what extra things you saw there to understand what you need to work on. Because any small particle, any branch, any garbage in your water reservoir is something connected with your past, with the karma of your lineage. Most often it is connected with the female line. It is very important for us to see it and to do special rituals of purification of your karma, especially in your female line, because the course of the river brings everything into your life from there. I didn't want to tell you, but I will. The spirits have given a special blessing to give a special ritual of womb cleansing this year. Many of you have had purification rituals before, but this is a special astral surgery ritual. Watch the announcement of our performances and my videos where I will tell you more about the ritual of astral surgery, which is called the Golden Womb. 
Wait for this news to feel the energy of this ritual. In the meantime, we are moving on. This entire source of water is your feminine power. I know some of you were scared to go in, weren't you? I can feel everything. I know how it is. But know this, I am always there for you. I am always ready to give you a helping hand, to back you up if you don't know how to swim yet. I will definitely support you. I will give you a special life jacket or floating ring. What can it be? Many of you have guessed, these are magical amulets. When we find it difficult in the whirlpool of life, a magical amulet comes to our aid. If you look at me, you'll see that I am wearing female pearl jewelry, especially for our conversation. It creates a special aura of acceptance of your body, acceptance of your female predestination, and acceptance of your female fate. I really want to help each of you to become a precious pearl. Imagine that each of you is a precious pearl in my necklace, and I am collecting you one by one all over the world with great love. Some of you are little pearls. Others are big pearls. I gather you so that together we can make this world a better place. The webinar you and I are preparing so much for will be held very soon. It will help you accept the great divine love, acceptance of yourself, relax from the tension that you have inherited, the lineage, karma, and the tension of blocked feminine power and energy within you. My dear, now that the age of Aquarius has come, we have no right to hold back this energy. We must come together in this pearl necklace and become the ornament of this world. Dear ladies, I know that each of you is a precious pearl, but sometimes, in order to find you, I need to dive very deep and remove all the silt from this pearl, remove all the influences, remove negative karma, purify you, pour pure water on you, so that the pearl shines with its love and its talents. I promise you that each of you will become such a shining pearl if you follow all my recommendations. Many of you ask where you can find me and how you can attend my workshops and other events. Believe me, I want to make each of you happy. You can find me online on my YouTube channel, where I record many interesting videos and video practices for you. You can find me online at my online school. You can find me online on my website, where I give a lot of useful tips. Read them and become wiser. You can find me at live workshops when I come to your cities. By the way, if you want me to come to your city, write me an email with the subject, I want to become an organizer, and then you and I will organize the best seminar and workshop and gather the wisest women of your city. And if you want to come to my big transformational retreat, I will be happy to meet you there. My whole life, 24 hours a day, is a holiday filled with the joy of communicating with you. You ask me if I ever sleep. Yes, sometimes only for a few hours. The rest of my time, I communicate with my students who are in different time zones. We talk, hold prayers, practices, and rituals. My life is focused on serving you. This is the greatest happiness for me. We have completed two practical lessons in preparation for the webinar that will be held on March 6th and 7th. My dear, 
I sincerely wish each of you to come and bring with you at least two women for whom you will take responsibility. These are your karmic women who depend on you in many ways because in your past lives you promised to never leave them and lead them through life. Think of these women. Their image will come to you at once. You don't have to think about whether they will come or not. Simply invite them. Just say, let's go. We'll be resting a lot there and you've been working so hard. We'll relax a lot. And you need it because you took everything so close to your heart. Let's go. Make yourself a real holiday for the soul. My lovely ladies, I look forward to seeing you on March 6th and 7th at our webinars. Be happy. I wish peace and prosperity for your homes. Spirits of ritual amulets contacted for opening the road of predestination and for protection from external influences and karma of past generations are waiting for you at the seminar. The power of the spirits is calling and awaiting you along with your friends and acquaintances. We are waiting for you at the seminar guided by the spirits.